Jero, let me ask you two questions. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's one that will follow. And it's, and it's also a possibility for you to elaborate a bit more on what you were already saying in the, in, in the, in the previous session. The first one is, do we have the right data to, to, to measure and analyze the resilience? And if not, what should be done? So, and since you are also the, the director of the LSMS program, I would like to know from you or, uh, what the, what the LSMS program can do about it and what it intends to do. Okay, so there's a question and a sub-question. Uh, on that, do we have the right data? To, learn, to make a long story short, like a no. So that, uh, <laughs> otherwise we wouldn't be here talking. <laughs> now the question is like what needs to be done? I mean it's always in the how, not in the what. Like, I mean, just, uh, it's in the what and I kind of trying to list a little bit to some of the what's <coughs> and what can be done. I mean the big challenge is here is uh, how, particularly because I think a lot of the constraints uh, are institutional constraints like, I mean, just, uh, on how we better integrate uh, and harmonize the uh, standards across institutions, uh, across the different pieces of the, of the system. When Nancy talks about a system, we need to think about systems uh, uh, to, uh, to look at resilience and we need to look at systems in terms of data too. I mean, how the different pieces uh, are connected. But also, as somebody also uh, mentioned, like I mean, just uh, a lot of times we do forget that we do have data. For example, I mean, uh, we tend to underutilize uh, grossly a community level data that we collect uh, routinely in household surveys. So we stick with that, we tend to stop uh, at the household level analysis. <coughs> we bring in uh, one or two variables from the community, but there's a lot of uh, community level data in terms of social capital, infrastructure, access to services, all these things that we've been talking about that, it's, that can be easy, not can be easily linked, it's already linked. It's all part of public access data that can be used. The question is, uh, how to promote a better, how to do a better job of promoting the use of this data. And, uh, and that's on one thing. On the, on what the LSMS can do, uh, is like what I was trying to, uh, to hint, and uh, as uh, my, my friend Derek mentioned, I mean, the LSMS will never give you, or an LSMS type, because uh, like LSMS is a rather limited program worldwide, but there's a lot of uh, uh, surveys uh, that they adopt a similar methodology. Like here we're talking about integrated household survey, multi-topic household survey, whichever way you want to call it. Every country runs uh, a, a multi-topic survey at different, uh, different time of, uh, maybe it would not be the same frequency. I mean, I think it's more about how we can use uh, this type of animal, this type of uh, the apple, and combine it with the orange, like I'm just saying. Uh, and I think this is where I think to me the greatest opportunities are. I mean, a, a platform like an LSMS, uh, it, by the way, just uh, to uh, clarify, the S in LSMS is not survey. Everybody can say it's a living standard measurement survey. It's not a survey, it's study. I mean, it's a methodological, I mean, it's an analytical tool, the LSMS. Therefore, it should be used as an analytical tool. We're discussing here about measurement issues. Let's use a platform like an LSMS uh, to tweak, uh, to uh, investigate, uh, to learn uh, how we better measure some of this concept uh, that we've been floating around. <coughs> okay. Thanks a lot, Gerald.